Let's watch Avatar stream. How's everybody doing out there? We have uh, the Honor Society crew with Bridget and Justin, as always. And special guest, Jack Descent is back with us. Sokka. We got Olivia Hack. Uh, Ty Lee with us. And then our director. One of our directors on the show, John Carlo Volpe. How are you doing? Welcome back. Thank you for watching the show with us this week, you guys. Hello, hello. How's Hi. everybody been? How's everybody? Hi. Olivia Hi. had a great uh, birthday last week we, we talked about. Um, I'm good. I'm, I'm, let's do it. I have, I know, I have drinks. I have drinks going on here. Also, cheers to everybody joining us on the stream. I We got something that came up, Justin. Honor, honor, you guys. Uh Honor, honor. I don't know. What the, the main goal this week, you guys, we're so close to 10,000. We're like at 9,350. We have a few things that we have to uh, address. I think we're at the in between shows. We have someone coming on that bought the 250 to be a part of the stream, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, beyond that, what's up? How's everyone's week? What's going on? Good. It's TGIF, man. That's that's the movie. Yeah. Awesome. The Friday party. Yeah, these are a fun little routine. Yeah. yeah. How's this Twitch life? You know what's crazy? Last night, for some people that are probably on here, I started a new show that's on Twitch with uh, this guy, Bernie Sue. He's doing a show called Artificial. And last night, we did a world building episode where all these fans of the show or whatever, all y'all out on Twitch helped create the character. It felt like D&D, &D, like name, like <laughs> occupation, like catchphrases. Fatal, fatal flaws. Like, I was a little. I got to pick out a, a, a handful of them. That all the comments coming in, and then the polls. They just like picked it out. Like, you play D and D, Are you I a D &D? have. I have played some D and D recently. I played some uh, when it came. You know, I did it with Maker Studios. I did a, a tour. I did a, a whole thing. A Rooster Teeth. I did a. What do they call a campaign? I did a few campaigns. Yeah, yeah. You did Dragon, you, Dragonborn like Bards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, uh, I'm just going to throw it out there. If for any reason we wanted to get a D&D campaign going on this, I mean, come on, I would be. Yeah. Yeah. Last week, come a lot on. of people were asking us to, actually. I mean, I'm come down, on. but it's like, who's going to who's gonna, who's gonna DM? Who's going to... I, We know a couple Carlo, you, you DM, right? I am a DM. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we got it. I played Pathfinder one time. I really wanted to play. I really wanted to learn D&D, Pathfinder, whatever. I was, so I got a group of friends, and I was like, I will DM so that this can happen. And we did, like, three or four sessions, and it was such an undertaking. <laughs> so I don't I it's, don't ask anyone lightly to do that. And that's why I've never actually played that. It's much. a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work for really good DMs. They're, like, going hard with, like, all the monsters yep. you got to kill and all these other backstories of things going on. Oh, yeah. There's, there's got to be an Avatar D&D. D &D. There's got to be an Avatar D&D somewhere there. I know, is Wizards of the this? Coast, like, can we hook up with Wizards of the Coast and just make a manual? The Avatar official, like, 5th edition adaptation. I feel like I saw somewhere that somebody was working on that. Really? I feel like I saw recently that somebody was like, working on something like, like that. Like official, though, or I don't know how official, but I... If you do it, John Carlo, it'll be official enough for yeah. all of us. Yeah. <laughs> What are you saying, Olivia? Wait, you get a really? question. Okay, is it true that D and D? Someone told me this the other day because I don't know. I'm I'm square. Is it all just <laughs> made up? Like it's all just improv? Like there is no board? There is no like you just yeah. make it up? Yeah. I'm I so. Mean, there's okay. maps that you can have like your characters on that. Like there's a yeah, tree here. Yeah, you can here. set up a map, but like you draw it and set up as you go. Like it's there's not, like a it's website good. that has like pre-made templates that you can just piece around. And then you yeah. could so import can your own stuff. Can I give you like a, a sample, a quick sample, Olivia? Give it to me. Give it to us. Yeah. Okay. Give it to us. You are approaching a dungeon door and you can hear screams on the inside. Sort of sounds like human screams, but maybe a little bit hyena yelps. Okay. And uh, you have, I don't know what, like what kind of weapon is at your side? Uh, a, a, a tomahawk. Okay, <laughs> so you've got a, you've got a tomahawk. Okay. See, Maybe you could take one or two people. It sounds like a lot of people. What do you do? Right. I, like, I, I slit the, the first guy's throat with the tomahawk. And then, and then so you, you, just, know, die. you just bust the door open and you start slitting throats. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah, right? so now that I know what you want, want to do, we would roll dice to see if you succeed. And there's all good your throat slitting. Like, and so sometimes... How do I win? my dice. 
Yeah. That's the thing is you don't really it's not really that you win. It's more it's like adventure. a collaboration thing and if you can get through like yeah, uh, true. Uh, a night alive, then that's a that's a, a celebration. But my favorite, but it's also storytelling. Like I was playing with this one guy and he could yeah. like he could like talk to animals and dance some magic stuff. So every time you know, you say he's gonna do something, and he's like, "Can I do this?" And he's like, "You roll, you, you could do it." And then we go like, "What happened?" He goes, "Well, then I came in and I pulled out this bat from my bag, and you know, like you just tell these crazy <laughs> stories that keep going on, but the dice kind of tell you if it's working or it's not working, right?" Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I definitely have to address this. People want to know why I'm not in my closet, and if this is a green screen, this is not a green screen, and I am outside. So. <laughs> Cause you're a baller. You're a, that's your backyard. That's how you quarantine, TV. Olivia. Yeah. That's how I have a TV out here. This is how Olivia yep. hat quarantines, you guys. Yeah. You know. I mean, uh, this is also those of you who don't live in LA. This is kind of life in LA. Yeah, this <laughs> is life in LA. So everybody, welcome to the stream. Keep donating. Let's try to get to ten thousand. We have less than less than seven six hundred fifty dollars to get to ten thousand, or our goal to raise money for the front lines. Our nation for the front lines to help all the uh, workers uh, battling uh, the pandemic right now. So let's let's do that. And um, and this episode today is what, Bridget? We're starting with the Blue Spirit. Uh, episode ooh, thirteen. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite my favorite episodes. My favorite drawings. Any, any background information, John Carlo, about the Blue Spirit? Anything you remember <laughs> from back in the day? Yeah. So I can give you a couple little like inside tip or inside scoops on this one. So, the Blue Spirit was written in anticipation that if we never made another episode again, this would be like the perfect way to sort of wrap up the, the series and leave a cliffhanger so you would want more. So at the time that this episode was, was being written, we didn't know that we were making the rest of season one or so. Wow. So okay. it was kind of we're like... We weren't picked up for the back right. end yet, huh? We weren't picked up for the back end yet. Yeah, we weren't picked up for the back end, so, um, I, but I love how, uh, you know, but I think by the time we started animating it, we knew we were making more, so it ended up working out perfectly. Very cool. Nice. Oh, someone commented that we're all wearing blue. Well, this this is is black. Black. <laughs> black. This is black, but it looks blue. Okay. <laughs> we, got, we got, we got like a, some of us. We're wearing the this- of blue spirit. Yeah, I'm looking for my blue spirit mask around here, but I don't know. Place is the best. So who's counting us in to this? Uh, I'm gonna count. Okay. I'm gonna count us in. Okay. Without further ado, this is. Wait, a uh, tiny bit more ado. Let me cue it up. Okay, a little bit more ado. <laughs> a little bit more ado. Uh, as always, a hundred oh, gets us a shot. In your honor, two fifty. You can join the Zoom, or you can donate however much you want to the poll. Katang versus Zutara. Katang is still winning by like 300 something. And I really want to take shots today, you guys. I'm in a mood. Oh, okay. all right, guys. <laughs> That's wrong. Oh, I like it. Shots are going to be the quickest way to get us to the 10,000, too. Dante's and drinking you a guys, white You guys bar, said but, that you know. after 10,000, you'll transition to it. You're going to choose a different chair. So today is like, this is whatever. Hopefully, if we hit 10,000, then however far we get today. Is what will be donated to direct relief. So, like, let's yeah. hit 10,000 and then let's, like, keep going. Let's see what we can do. do. It. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yes, are you ready, Jack? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, play. A guy on a skateboard? Guy on a cool. skateboard. Yeah, skateboard. Get ready. Yeah, they're just skating it up. Don't skip intro. Don't skip intro. Don't skip it. Don't, don't, don't skip, skip it. it. <laughs> um,. Yeah, that's that's fascinating parts. Let's see any questions out there. I'm with that white claw, Prince Zuko, girlfriend. I'm, I'm just, cheers to you guys and early cheers for day drinking on Friday. Cheers. Yeah, early cheers. <laughs> early cheers to day drinking. Hey. This episode was directed by Dave Filoni. Oh, Filoni did this one. Shout out Mandalorian to Dave action in this one. Here we go. I love this episode so much. This so is one of my favorites. Bridget, yeah. like what uh, what happened before this? Um, the last one we watched was the storm, which gave us like the background, like Aang running away when he found out he became the Avatar, and you know we found out how to go. Previously on Avatar, right here. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. Hey. You know, when I yeah. first met Mike and Brian, you know, Mike Mike Mike's name is middle name is Dante. Yeah. That's right. It was like on the script. I think that's why he gave me the character. 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was the name. Do you meet yeah. a lot of Dantes, Dante? I actually run into a lot of Dantes. I think it's just like a, yeah. uh, a magnetic attraction kind of thing. And One I of my best like, friends in high school's name was Dante. I haven't met your best friend, but have I? No, we, you, we've done like video, but like not ever. Yeah. I'm always like, so how's the name treating you? Has it been, has it been good for you? Yeah. Me too. I have a cousin, John Carlo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's right. weird to say John Carlo to another person because it's yeah. a, a rare too. name. Hey, Dante. Yeah. What's going on? But it's like yeah. it's a good name. Like it sounds like kind of a sexy name. Mm-hmm. John Carlo, right? Like, 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like you could whisper the name John Carlo. Like it's. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. Really, yeah, see, look at these guys. That, that mutton chop is full Fire Nation look. Mutton chops back in, in mutton full chop. Form. Like, that's the style. Like, you, he has it. You have it. We all have it. We all got mutton chop. <laughs> is that, is it, who's that? What is going on? The, those are the Yuyan archers, Dante. I do not remember these guys. Yeah. They're, 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 they're kind of bait. free. Oh, I have space bait. <laughs> they're like the Hawkeyes of the, uh, of the Avatar universe, like yeah, exactly the what they are. can we talk about? Hawkeye is there a time? bending element at all to their? They're just real good archers. There's yep. no magic. Real good archers. Yeah, <laughs> John Carla, can we talk about Hawkeye in the movies and Avengers? Why is he not friggin' deaf? I'll never. Why is he Wait, not is he's deaf in the comics? Yeah, that's yeah. why he's like. That's why he's so good. That's why he's a Hawkeye because he can't hear. Like he sees so good. Yeah. I might not know this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. It was very a damn purple headdress. <laughs> yeah, the little horn. Yeah, purple headdress. But he's <laughs> see, he's like he's like a uh, there's my man right there, bam, on the top of the building. Bam. Oh uh, yeah. No, okay, Hawkeye's you... like you know like Daredevil. He's like the other like Daredevil can't see, Hawkeye can't hear. I didn't know what? that. What? Is that in current comics too? I don't know. That when I was growing up, that was part of the comics. Mm. Can I ask oh, a real quick Avatar question? Sorry, you're yeah. sick. Sure. Okay, so I up? just started season two. So I'm uh-huh. still learning about Avatar, which I like season two because now it's getting more serialized and whatever. Okay, dumb question. Cannot everybody bend? Yeah, not everybody. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, not everybody. So is it just a special power you're born with? Can you yes. learn to bend? you got to be born with it. you got to be born with it. Yeah, you got to be born with it. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. why it's a big All deal right. Katara could do it because there hasn't okay. been a lot of... Okay. Although it would be interesting to see someone who was maybe bending sensitive, like instead of force sensitive, but never met a trainer. So they just kind of, you know, never like Ray. It. Like Ray? Yeah, right. Or like Finn. Or Finn. <laughs> that's, that's my theory. I think Finn, Finn needs his own trilogy. What about <laughs> like if... Think of like the next Fire Lord has a, you know, he has a kid, but the kid can't fire him. Can he be the fire? Yeah. Lord? Squib, squib, firebender. Squib, yeah. Oh, he's squib. <laughs> I, what happens if that happens? I don't well, know. He's like, That's I can't question. be the fire lord because I can't. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys do like Punnett squares to figure out just how hereditary <laughs> firebending is? Yeah, is yeah. It, like, uh, skip. Does it? Does one it for skip one, a generation? Never... Yeah. It's a good question. I know That's that. That's a really thing. good question. The, the airbenders were supposed to be the most rare. There was there was not that many of them. Yeah. And like think, within think, the air nomads, not many of them had. Earthbenders are the most common. I remember yeah. them saying that. Yeah, well, Earth, what is, Earth is half the whole, despite that whole the kingdom so big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the most powerful, though? Like, re, I mean, I'm sure fire. this is a great thing. Fire. Is. Fire. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's probably the <laughs> most. Richard <laughs> disagrees. <laughs> I like how Dante said it's so authoritative. It's like fire. <laughs> Obviously. No, I, I, I honestly think it's probably Earth being that, like, you can just all walk on Earth. I think it's uh, pretty, it's water bending has blood bending, and I think yeah, just, like, raw like power fire. level, like, blood bending be, is kind of the crazy thing. But it could also be air bending, because you could just steal that oxygen out. Yeah, but I feel like water right. and air have the most potential to be, like, because it also, if you think of elements in general, like, more of, like, water and air can technically do the most damage pretty consistently. Yeah. You can make someone explode. On the force. Yeah, fire, like, so it's like, fire, fire, fire does a lot of damage. Like, implode. You just make their lungs a vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the Fire Nation was seen 
Athena so powerful because like they were the only ones who didn't need their element already there. They we're just an underdog. Made we're an underdog. We're an underdog element vendors. We I think it's because you guys could just generate it on your own. We're you the little we're the little <laughs> elemental vendors that could that could that you know <laughs> underdog. <laughs> <laughs> we just have boats. How big's a fire nation? It's like small. It's just little, went around uh, being imperialistic. Well, there was a comet. There's a whole, you know. But is can can Earth any like move like the elements within the dirt, like calcium deposits and stuff like that? Very vague. Yeah, because you, you could do metal. You could do metal. They could do okay, metal. Okay, so, 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 so you can do iron. Question, someone's bones. Legit, the iron in their body. Question. I'm iron. friends. I'm friends with like a seven-year-old boy who's actually in the pool right now, and he <laughs> Not your son? was give no my son what Dante <laughs> like no Dante baby Dante I thought you uh, had one when I was when la for the last time I saw you seven years it's been that long yeah. so he was saying he's like why if the if the Earthbenders can bend iron why can't they just bend the ships of the Fire Nation don't let's not. Go into okay. science. It has to touch. It has to touch the the ground or something. I think, I think this comes oh. up, doesn't it? Who's this well, old lady? Well, it in, in the, the original, in the original series, like they don't like Toph figures it out by like, but like it's right. bending like the tiny particles of Earth still in the metal is how okay. they do it. It still has to be in the Earth. She's Not bending dust. Like, she's bending Earth. dust. She's bending dust. Yeah. You, no, Toph invents it. The refined, okay. yeah. Bent in this in this season, so or okay. in this series, I mean. Yeah. By the time you get to Korra, then they're bending metal left and right, and okay. uh, different dynamic. But but yeah. in Next. Avatar, metal bending is very uh, almost only one person can do it. Yeah. I have another question, and I feel like this is a question for Giancarlo. Uh, is it? I know stuff, Olivia. Olivia, I know stuff too. Okay. 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 Not help you. Please ask John Carlo. This is my this is my hot question now because it is serialized. It's not like The Simpsons or whatever. How long does this take place? Does it take place over a year? Does it take place over a month? Like forty six days. Forty six days. I'll take it. Get out. <laughs> I think it is just a few months, right? Because I think okay. that um, there's. The, in episode eight, they say you have to confront the Fire Lord before Sozin's Comet. And then there's another episode later where they kind of figure out about how long, how much time they have. And there's the, the solar eclipse that is, is like a measuring stick. But it all happens in a matter of months. Very yeah, fast. Is, okay. I think it's like six months or so. Well, okay. let's see how long Zuko's hair days. grows. It takes that <laughs> long yeah. for it to be yeah. shaved to a very shaggy cut, which would take all of us. Jack, for me to get from my hair to you or Justin's hair, how long is that going to take? Six months. Yeah, my hair goes I can do it in six months. Yeah, That's my how hair long goes it fast. takes, Olivia. So <laughs> okay, got six it. months. All right. <laughs> we got What's it. What's going on? Now, that's si and that's, that's science, science, everybody out there. That's, that's science? science. <laughs> okay, that's science. Yeah, guys. What's yeah. going on? So... Yes, Guitar. can somebody buy a shot? I want to drink a shot. But tell us what's going on, Bridget. Somebody We're buy at $9,400. Thank you, guys. Keep. Let's try to get to ten grand. Hey. We're trying. Oh, We're trying. these guys are. You're also, wait. Why they got face paint on? Because they like, want to. It helps focus them. And it yeah. looks cool. <laughs> How are you going to shoot an airbender with arrows? It's like Yeah, he can just bend the wind. wind. Yeah, he can bend wind. Break wind. Those guys jumped. To run. All those dudes jumped after him, though. Yeah, they're serious. Yeah, they don't they're, look around. What the? Oh, oh, the <laughs> Spider Manning. That's cool. Spider Manning. That's bold. Oh, that's, that's, bold. Cool. that's right. And they all could do it. They all could do that. They're all professionals. They can't they bend. They're pretty they good, seem though. very good. They seem very elite. They're like yeah. the Navy SEALs. <laughs> yes. That's the best. Frog. Yeah, Sokka is sick, so Aang goes to find medicine. He finds this lady who says, oh, they need to suck on frozen frogs. Katara's getting sick also, so he has to go get those frozen frogs. They, got, them to suck they, on. Got, they got COVID? They got coronavirus? Yep, yeah, they got it from the store. Coronavirus! <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> Damn, I can't, Zuko can't catch this fool, and these guys caught him? They're elite. Uh. So yeah, Zuko has face paint. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you don't have face paint. Um, you gotta, you gotta get face 
face paint. You know, you so, face paint. so, or you know, I, you gotta have something covering your face. I'm gonna tell you something. If you got the guy you're trying to get, you got him all tied up like that. Just kill him. Just kill no. him. Look, look, Zhao literally explains why he's not going to kill him. Why? Because then he'd just be reborn. The avatar would just be reborn. Oh. And I gotta go chase down somebody else. Ah, that's so smart. That's pretty smart. That is very Wasn't there you gotta something put him in a cage. Like, you gotta put him in a cage or something. The Avatar is reincarnated unless something. They explain this in an episode I just watched. Unless he's killed in the Avatar state. Okay, that was it. Thank you. You're welcome. I like how Bridget knows all these rules even better than me. <laughs> Bridget. Bridget write is the, the show by the manual. Bridget can write the D manual. You know, like, I, I, I'd be willing to help. <laughs> Like, I remember that rule, but it might have taken me a few minutes to, to recall it. <laughs> How does it work? I can't remember. Does anybody out there want to write the D&D manual with Bridget on I would Airbender? Do that. And then Let's we do will it. do a campaign do to do something. I'll, of course, Let's be a firebender. I'm all in. So they're, they, all, they, all got, they all got the, the row room. Yep. I guess so. And Momo's trying to get, like, understand Katara. She just oh. wants water. He's trying his best. Oh, God. Y'all wear fur that. coats the whole damn time. Water. Y'all got fur coats in every season. <laughs> Do not adjust to the They climate. don't, actually, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's costume updates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they changed. There he is. There he is. All right, somebody bought us a shot. Hey, Yay. who is it to? Who's the person? Um, it is anonymous. <laughs> anonymous. 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 Olivia, did you just anonymously make yourself do a shot? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, um, yeah, this is me. Damn, you took that Casamigos out there? You're really you know hard. how I do, baby. You I know, know you I'm do. all about the Casamigos life. Right. All right. I mean, we're all going to die. we got to drink the good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> so nice. Um... I think this episode used to be called The Red Spirit at one point. Really? And then, then there was concern that Red Spirit makes you think of Fire Nation, so it was kind of yeah. revealing that it was it's Zuko, so just a quick color change. Well, just, and, yeah. We don't know. Was it Crips and Bloods? Was it Right Wing, <laughs> Left Wing? We don't know where we were going with it, but he ended up being the Blue Spirit. Crips and Bloods. Are there people listening that don't know what Crips and Bloods are? <laughs> probably. I mean, probably. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit of think of the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. Depends on what neighborhood you're in. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Good point. Did there a reason? Does he? Does Zuko ever explain why he chose this mask? Where did he get this mask? Was it like? We find out, right? It's one of those mysteries, it's... like the uh, painted arrow guys. Yeah, he like he has it. Like you see it in like on display or like in corners. Yeah, like, it's in the back of like one of like the tea shop or yeah. something. So the pe mask. People are saying it's from yeah. his mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I some I don't know why I know this, but I happen to. So I don't know why I know this, but it's like <laughs> it's from his mom. It's in the like comics. It's like his mom. Saying, and it's from like a theater from... troupe, right? It's like oh, a theater. Oh yeah, thing. yeah. His yeah. mom left them to go to the theater. Why yeah. do I know that? Olivia, you should have asked I, me that. I would have been so proud. <laughs> I like I only like vaguely remember the comics. I didn't I hold on as well. Like people are watching this and it's like the people who worked on the show are like, how does what are the rules of this universe? <laughs> I'm at yeah, I'm in cons all the time and people ask me questions, and I'm just like <laughs> That's part I'm of always people. terrified that any panel will just be a pop quiz that I am failing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what do you think the answer is? Because you probably know. <laughs> so, uh, I remember when Dave was directing this episode, he had a vacation planned. So he had to leave for like a, a week or two, and I subbed in for him. I was a substitute director on this episode. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you are substitute with, with the episode. I, I sort of covered for him, but Thanks. it... it it's hard to take any credit because I was basically just, I was just putting toppings on the pizza that he already How made. long is the, like, <laughs> directing life cycle on an episode? When you say, like, you step in for a week, like, what's the, what's Maybe the like kind of... Maybe, like, two months or so. Maybe three, something like that. Two That's starting months. at, like, storyboards? You get a script, 
which which was written, you know, a month or two prior, and then it's about six weeks of storyboards and two to four weeks of editing and making sure that you do Mike and Brian's notes, making sure that you do Nickelodeon's notes, um, and then once it's like lock the animatic, you send it, and you start into the next one. And where do we where do we work in that? Where, where do we at think? the end of the storyboards you record and then turn that into an animatic? Or when the script is complete and approved, then the voice actors are brought in and record so that we can listen to you guys while we storyboard. Okay. And then if there's any changes in animatic which happens, then we bring you guys back in and pick up the line. So it's like, red spirit, now we need you to say blue spirit or whatever. Just say blue a bunch and we'll just Body copy paste everywhere. Blue, 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 blue. Do Can I ask a question? Oh, sorry. Go. Good, you go. So is Giancarlo, like this show isn't cell animation, correct? It is cell, well, uh, it depends on what you're asking. It's, okay. it's in the style of cell animation, but I think, I believe this is all painted digitally. Yeah, because I remember, like, I've been doing animated shows for, like, a long time before years. this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, like, I remember doing this show and coming back to do, you know, looping or whatever, and having it be, the turnaround time was faster than I was ever used to. I was like, wow, this episode's already done. So, it, yeah. so it was computer, right? I think that... Computer ink and paint has made things go a lot faster than, mm -hmm. like, say, in the 90s. Because, right. <laughs> like, on King of the Hill, there we actually had cells. Like, we had acetate with paint. Sure. On it. Um, I think Avatar was when we started painting digitally. Mm -hmm. At least from my perspective. No, no, I, I think for sure. Because uh, I did Hey Arnold with Nick and all of those, like, backgrounds and all that stuff yeah. hand painted. Yeah, Back in crazy. those days, they were using crayons the whole damn time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you were talking about listening to the voice actors as you guys are drawing. Did we ever help inspire anything that y'all did? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yes. Like, they all the credit. <laughs> no, no. People ask me that all the time. Like, did you guys help inspire? I'm like, I don't know what they did. We performed, but I, I, I would assume they said like sometimes we do stuff that could help something. I don't know. It's the way you say things, you know, because sometimes we'll read a script by ourselves and go, oh, okay, I think that makes sense. But then when you listen to the track and you go, ooh, I didn't know that, you know, Zuko was going to sound that moody when he said that line. Or oh. Sokka really, like, said something really, like, sounded extra silly when he said that. So now I'm going to draw this pose way more exaggerated. That's cool. Voice actors matter. The actors matter. Awesome. matter. Have Absolutely. you ever have you ever started to storyboard something with like a really cool visual idea and then has it ever worked the opposite where it's like I have such a cool idea and then like they gave me this like fucking flat crap <laughs> performance and I'm like well I guess I better shoot it I better make it look boring. <laughs> Some, when that happens, now what I'll do is I'll tempt the line the way I want it to go, and then we bring you guys back in, and we're like, can you just match this animation? I've, <laughs> I've, I've heard that temp lines. Temp. I've heard those temp lines. I, I, mean, have, I have also. Who was that? Who did that? That's what you want me to do? That, that can happen. <laughs> but most of the time, that'll happen because inspiration in the moment. It's not because... Yeah, yeah, because you need to shift a scene. Yeah, totally. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening on the screen here. Thank you guys for doing stuff. I don't know who that was. We have a hype train happening right now, which is what fun. is a hype, hype train? train? I don't even know what a hype train. train is. I think it's when like a bunch of people are subscribing. I think it starts a hype train. So thanks, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> We're Glad less than that five hundred dollars away to our ten thousand dollar goal. Let's go for the blue spirit. Come on, let's yeah. do it. Help us get there. I think. Did I do any? Was I doing these sounds? I love this animation here, and I don't even remember. Was I doing grunts and stuff? Because I was like, I don't think Zuko makes a single not, noise. Not a sound, right? I don't think I made. Yeah, a sound. like he doesn't make a single noise. What's up with my dude looking even like when he the hit. ultimate warrior? He looks like the <laughs> ultimate warrior with his, his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that. he got me. Got him. Uh, yeah, you don't even make a noise for that. You just get hit. By the way, that scene, shooting a teenager in the forehead with an arrow, Nickelodeon was like, mm. <laughs> But we don't know 
know he's a teenager. We don't know he's a teenager, yeah. But look, he saw oh, that scar. Until after he like, gets like, hit. Oh, oh it's it's so cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, listen, the first time I saw it, I lost my mind. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love Jennifer, that you didn't tell. How many notes well, did you... Because the first, I was a kid. The first time I was watching it, I was like, I was like, who is this guy? What's happening? <laughs> was it like a look oh, on your father moment for you as a young child? Like, oh yeah. my god. John Crow, how many notes did you get from like standards and practices from Nickelodeon about like violence on this show? Like a lot or a little or it, it wasn't a ton, but we did get some that were really annoying. Like the, the most infamous one is the death of, of uh, Jet. Where, I, like, I think it used to be a very gratuitous death. Then it got toned down. Then it got toned down even more. Now we don't even know if he died or not. People are like, did he die? <laughs> no, like, uh, did it happen? I don't know. <laughs> Unclear if he's dead or not. He, he actually did come back. But I remember this was a really sticky one. And so the way that it shot, you know how it kind of fades to white, and then yeah. you come oh. out of it, and you see him go too. laying on the ground. Yeah. This was such a great scene. Great, I great this. scene. What's up with his ponytail? Know. Did he cut his ponytail off? Where's his ponytail? No, it's just back, it's back there. No, see, it's hanging. It's hanging. Yeah. It's hanging. Well, I mean... It's like a mullet. <laughs> yeah. It was low. Yeah. No party. No party. When he no got business, hit in the head... Just whole party. How come that arrow didn't go through the mask? Is that mask... Like, it's metal, dude. That mask is serious. That it's mask is theater. theater. It was it's made for the theater. So it's got to be... It's, it's paper mache! That's a paper mache mask, you guys! It's, 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 it's a royalty, dude, so it's got to have the finest material. <laughs> How did he not die? Really die? That's an elite warrior. That's the ultimate made, warrior, elite, Hawkeye guy. We may have, you know, overlooked something here. <laughs> it, but it maybe it grazed him. Maybe it grazed him. It hit him, and it grazed him. Uh, the 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 <laughs> Is that why there's the line, like, it can hit a fly, they can hit a fly a distance and not even kill them? Is that so that we know like yeah, they're like, precise, definitely. not just violent? Yes. I'm sure that there was some kind of foreshadowing. That's, you know, the ones that capture them. That was intentional. Maybe yeah. he knew that it was Zuko and he's such a loyal Fire Nation yeah. guy that's that's like, I'm not gonna kill him. I don't think that's gonna <laughs> happen. Possible. Because they don't the mind subtitle out. there, as I spit out the frog, said Patui, and I really hope that that's accurate. I hope I made exactly the sound. <laughs> All right, pause, 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 pause. Everybody pause. Pause on this. Dave Filonio said there was uh, up. Cheers. We're in between episodes. Yeah. Should we invite our – someone bought a $250 um, thing for the charity to join us in. Oh, the, wow. Yeah, wow. so they can join the Zoom for a few minutes. And for some – we got through level one of the hype train, and now we're in level two of the hype level train. Two. Keep yep. it going. I don't know what that means, but let's stay hype. I don't let's, understand. Let's stay Hi. Can you, you invite them? Hit, we've got to hit 10K today, guys. Bridget, can you send them the invite? And what's yeah, the yeah. name, Bridget? What's the name? Um, We're going to be joined by Pauline. Pauline, okay. Yeah, yeah. I have Get a cousin. Dave Filoni in here. Be, maybe, I don't know. Bridget, I haven't seen Dave in a while, but he, we might be able to get to him with some other. He might be. Who knows? That dude's busy. Who knows? Filoni's down, though. He's he's a he's a cool guy. You know what's yeah. I mean? So I, we got to keep doing this stream. As, it, as we keep going and raising money. I was doing that, that uh, the Twitch, the artificial stream last night, and then we were doing it, and then they put us on the front page of Twitch. And it went from, like, you know, what we're doing, like 300 viewers, which is awesome, and then it went back to 14,000 viewers, like, in a second. That's what Bridget would call a hype train. Hey! Like, we learned that phrase. Is that, I don't know what a hype train is. I don't know what a hype train I, is I, either. It, it shows uh, up on our Twitch. Uh, like hype train. People. Yeah. Our train is when people uh, subscribe or give gifts of subscriptions or donations or bits, and then it just creates like this uh, progression bar where you just keep going, and then it's like, oh, party. Yeah, it's a bit. I don't know what it is. Bit is like a cheer. It's where people like donate loose money or whatever. It's like, hey, I'm going to give a cheer, and then thank you. it highlights whatever they say or something. Thank you for the hips and the cheers and everything. And if you can give a dollar to the to – the, to the COVID uh, direct relief, that would be great too. All right, Pauline, check your email. Pauline, check your email. Let's talk in between episodes. I love that episode. What episode's coming up, Richard? Uh, the next one is The Fortune Teller, which is technically Michaela's first appearance. Where's Michaela? Yeah, oh, it's not find. as top, right? Yeah, not as top, but it is her first appearance. I forgot show. about that. 
doing this, raising awareness, everything going on, and using your your platform. And I'm I'm hoping that you guys get to ten thousand today. If I have to donate again, I will. I will vote for Sutara like Thanks. again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so I've donated awesome. twice by you know, so my I have two votes in there. I won't tell you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, this episode is not Zutara ish. It's not. I know it's not. It's really I know. Very Katang episode. It is. And I respect Katang. Like, I understand it. Like, why would you have yeah. her the story? It's not. only canon. It's only canon. <laughs> but they, you, know? you guys, they, they snuck in all of those little Zutara things. Like, how could you not? I'm Zutara. Amazing. You were like, I, he, just, that warms my heart. I just yeah. like, you know, toxic sure. relationships. Last, I said last time I did the competition and I, I won air. Right. Yeah. I was, I was appointed air during like a, a trivia thing that we did at Nickelodeon. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll rep air. But I guess you, you don't got it. You don't got it. There are very few of you. Right to you. <laughs> Tylee's Fire Nation, right? Ty, you can't bend. Yeah. Okay. Tylee's Fire Nation, but this is what I want to know. Like, so this is why I had the question about the bending. She can't do anything. You're a chief blocker. You can do a lot. You're a chief blocker. Right? No, she yeah. can control like energy or something. That's I'm not that blocking. Blocking. It's not like she just showed up. Okay. Yeah. Chief blocking comes into play in in Korra. No, chief like blocking. Tylee's a master chief blocker. Your but energy. What's chi, guys, guys, what it's is chief? Like, it's energy. Oh. She just knows like the pressure points to hit to leave you immobile. Yeah, so and she can, can like fuck shut you up. down your. Yeah, yeah she, and can she can stop you from bending. bending. And, yeah, she's, she's also very flexible and she works body. in the circus. Okay. Well, yeah, circus. Okay. Circus. That's a pretty powerful ability. Yeah, like Tylee's a badass. <laughs> so can she like? So so say you were trying to like water bend on me. 
What would Ty Lee do to stop you from doing that? You, she, she does have pressure on arm. She does it in the nose. She kind of does this with her fist. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, like, uses that to, like, hit your pressure points. It's kind of like high high speed acupuncture, acupressure. Yeah. <laughs> but but I have to touch you. Then you fall down yeah. and you can't even move. She okay. like but she has to be at close range, but yeah. she's an acrobat, so she can she can close in. Yeah, okay. I mean, she's a badass. You'll see. Like she's definitely. Okay. I mean, Azula's a super badass, but having having a, a Ty Lee on your side is very helpful. Okay. It's May, okay. May has those little sort like little knives, right? May's a game. Yeah, yeah. Too. Which is good for um, so Ty Lee's got the close combat, and May's got the distance on you. <laughs> uh, like samurai yes. stars, like. Ninja stars. And it's so nice. It just has the fire. Yeah. Are we starting episode two? Or We're starting well, we episode. just got another shot. Okay. Another shot? We just got another shot. Okay. From who? You We're brought so this upon us, From Olivia. Aaron. Sorry. Aaron yeah. with an A or Aaron, Aaron with an E? Aaron with an E. Aaron, how are you doing? Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Cheers to you, Aaron. Cheers to you, Aaron. Fire Cheers Nation. to you. Cheers. Guys, I'm getting kind of tanked. I'm just letting you know. I love this. I, love this. <laughs> I need another drink. Okay. Um, we are at nine seven seven five. That's my ma- if my math's correct. Oh, we can get there. Three hundred dollars. Two hundred and twenty-five dollars left. We can do yeah. this. Come on. Let's get there. Oh All right. All right. We're gonna stop the episode in three, two, one. Oh, we gotta rewind it first. We gotta rewind it first. We gotta rewind it yeah, first. Yeah. Make sure you're starting from the beginning. I am. Okay. And three, New countdown. Two, one. And Count us in, baby. Play. I think, no, right. one second, my thing is frozen. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> All right, Chuck, oh my God. All right, everyone back to, back to zero. Back to, back back to zero. zero. Everybody back to zero. Uh, back to zero. Uh, I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing. All so right. We, we got skateboard on the toilet paper again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, two, I'm on skateboard. I'm already starting. I'm on skateboard. I'm on skateboard. Okay. What, All what, right. what? Wait, wait, back to, zero. Back, to zero. Zero. Right. back to zero. Back to zero. Back to zero. It's water. Earth. Fire, yeah, art. Fire. Oh, Dante, Wait, well, you are synced up, Dante. Air. <laughs> okay, tell me when the intro's down, and I'll skip it. the four nations live together in harmony. Yeah. Then everything changed with the Fire Nation attack. Ah! Yeah. Yep, it's going. It's going. It's going. Tell, it's us going. When that, tell us when that intro's over. Tell us when the intro's over. Yeah, oh, 100 nice. years passed, and my yep. brother and I discovered the new avatar. His name is Aang. He was frozen in some ice. He rides on a little arrow. <laughs> but so. I believe that Aang can Aang save us all. But I believe okay. that Aang can save the world. Yes, the world, the world. After I was like, made by Aaron, created by Michael Dante DiMartino and Ryan. I can't pronounce it. And right. it's the. <laughs> yes, after I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. After I made my parents watch this with me, every show we watched that had any sort of intro ever, my mom would end it with, and I believe Aang can save the world. She just said that yeah. to start off every other show we ever watched afterwards. Oh, wait, Shannon. there's also... Shannon! What? Wait, you still got to like, <laughs> ca- uh, count us in, because we skip the intro, but we don't get the recap when we skip in. Guys, everybody always wants to know every oh, time gosh. why oh, yeah. we don't use Netflix Party. Goes. Why don't we use Netflix Party? Because Netflix Party and... is just right. a cat. Okay. Start. But we could yeah, all sync up, yeah, all start. of us. Okay. Yeah, oh, I mean, oh, why don't yeah. we use Netflix? But that would be, like, yeah. another thing for us to have open. All right. And then we could, we could, like, count it down and start at the same okay, time. Okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I don't Olivia, know. you're probably right, but there's a thing. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm controlling this. Oh, well, that makes two of us. Okay. Yeah, so Thank you to, uh, someone. The, the soccer came up and started dancing, you guys. Guys, they hit the goal. What? Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. We hit oh my god! We hit the goal! <laughs> we hit the goal! Oh my wait, god! Wait, wait. Hey, wait. People donated $300 just Someone now? Did. Oh Someone god. did. Someone donated. Somebody donated $250, so we have somebody else who's going to join. Okay, so someone's Fire. coming to this chat afterward. Thank you guys. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you guys for joining us on the chat. Woo-hoo. I need another drink. What do we, your- what's going on at $10,000? What is there a prize? Oh, here's um, that moment. Here's that. We still haven't picked the moments. like 8K, 9K milestone winners, so whoever is donating now will go into that and we're like, This is this this entire episode is just Aang thirsting for guitar. <laughs> That's the episode. Ten thousand dollars. That's simple life. Am I, am I giving away one of the Zuko? Your pops? soul. What? Zuko pops. <laughs> 10, yeah, you, 
You can, if you want to do another Zuko pop, I think you've already given away two. Oh, we've given away, okay. Well, yeah. I only got one more, so I can't do Yeah, that. I was going to say, I don't think you... What is that animal? animal? That animal is friggin' it's scary. It's a platypus bear. It's a platypus bear. It's a platypus bear. There's I a like few, dude, there's there's a few like hybrid animals. I enjoy them on this show. There's a few platypus yes. animals. There's in there? This is a platypus bear. There is, right? There's like another one. I feel like a duck or something. That's a turtle duck. But they have the turtle duck. There was a mole badger I saw the other day that I quite enjoyed. Badger mole. I like, I like the music badger that's mole. going whenever it cuts to like badger a little mole. whistle song. Like, yeah. That platypus got a beak and teeth. Oh, it's word. tiny. It's tinier I'm than Appa. Well, Appa's cute. Any laid eggs? Any laid eggs? Any laid eggs? Do platypus lay eggs? They yeah. do, actually. Platypus are a type right. of animal where I think they're like the only one. They're not a mammal. They're not a reptile. Like, they're their own thing. It's very. Platypuses yeah. are very unique. They Is should it like not be. Part duck, half, no. part mole? I'm going to look it up because but. only reptiles lay eggs, but they're not reptiles. I'm looking it up. I'll, I'll let you know. Birds yeah. lay eggs. No, they're not I mean, birds. Yeah, platypus bird, are kind of like birds. Bird lay eggs. It's like a duck uh, and a mole no, got true. together. Birds do lay eggs. The okay, heck are you talking about? She said only birds. Spiders lay eggs. Fish lay eggs. No, no, no fish lay eggs. Turtles lay eggs. Wait, okay, I'm going to shut up because it does say it's a mammal. It's Maybe a, yeah, I'm thinking like mammals. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. And penguins lay eggs. Oh my goodness. We have somebody else bought a Two, did a 250, so we have two people who are going to be joining the Zoom. No, way. Okay. Okay. It's, That's great. Wow. It's going to be a hey Zoom friends, party. should we all peace out and they can chat? <laughs> <laughs> no. Two more people? Two so more people. Two more people coming. After this episode, before we go, we're going to have two people come in and join us and talk to us. Uh, uh you just broke the egg, dude. That would have been a great omelet. Is okay, wait. Oh. Yeah? So, uh, okay. Technically, yes, it is a mammal, but it's in the family of this thing called an Orneo, I can't even pronounce it. It's a really long word, but okay. it's Orneo, the only oh, one Orneo of them. Like yes, <laughs> and everything else is extinct. <laughs> and <laughs> basically, and a platypus is a dinosaur, and it should not be. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I, love, I love them. I love I'm dropping them. Dropping all the platypus, my guy. I like it. I didn't know okay. platypuses were dinosaurs. Yep. There you go. It's I love dark. platypus. Platypie. This Platypie. guy looks anime as heck. Who's that guy? He's uh the door guy. Yeah, he looks like he's out of, like, another show. He walked in from a different <laughs> There's Michaela. We have Michaela. That's Michaela. That's Michaela. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's when in love I with Eggs. She's in love episode, with Eggs. I, I wonder who voiced this character. No joke. I was like, who voices this character? Because it's That's so cute. Michaela. I didn't know that was Jesse Flowers. You know who Jesse Flowers is? She's big. <laughs> no, I don't know Jesse Flowers. I only know Michaela Murphy. Jesse Flowers. Uh, there she is. I don't know. Do you remember, Jack, do you have any memories of, like, any of these episodes in the booth? No. He's like... <laughs> Truly, no. No. Uh, I'll have occasional flashes, but, like, very early, no. No. Uh, when people ask about... I remember the general moments, feeling of being episodes, in the booth. I'm like, I don't remember, like... There's, I mean, when I worked with Mark Hamill, I remember that. Because it's the first time meeting Mark Hamill. <laughs> we know. But, like, you, like, me, Jack, and May were, like... Every week. Most, yeah, most of the episodes. Yeah. And so, yeah, and I can't place, like, oh, this one we recorded at, at Nick Animation. This one we were at Salami. This one, yeah, I don't have that in my head at all. So it's I all do have sort memories of, of the food at Salami was pretty good. So the they, food they put those cookies Salami out. Salami has the best food. They, they got the, the best cookies. craft service. They got they those cookies out. Salami? It's great. They, had, they always had salami cut up there, for sure. Like, like is that, that their thing? Is like turkey bacon. Turkey they do bacon. always put out some salami, yeah. When I was doing American Dragon LA Studio, they would trade there on Cuenca. Awesome. Their refrigerators always have, like, ice yes. cream in it and everything. And then yes. their coffee's great. And they have booze, and they have, like, and they got candy booze. and everything. They do. That's candy. a good craft service. Nickelodeon don't, studio. I mean, they order us food sometimes, but Nickelodeon, like, they have soda. Nickelodeon, and yeah, they have a soda machine. That's about it. Was a dog, 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 dog. And it was also Nickelodeon never clear to me. It was never clear to me if we were allowed in, like, if we were supposed to be in the area with the soda and the popcorn. Yes, so I yeah. basically every time went, I, I went always too. felt guilty. I went <laughs> was too. Like, like, I want to get some soda. Is that right cool with this? I, was that but if us? you record in the morning, they'll bring you breakfast at, at yeah. Nick. They do do that. Uh-huh. Oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got, I got a little order in every now and then. Mm-hmm. Here's the 
here's something that I observed, and I'm curious. I always, from my vantage point, it looked like the voice actors never eat. Like the, the food would be out there, but they never actually. Because it makes our. It depends what you eat. It can make your like voice sound kind of funky. You know. Because we're I mean? not invited yeah. to the food. Like a you guys have the food, and no one says, "Guys, have some food." They just like yeah, look at the food. Your voice sound. It's on this side of the glass. Like, and Nick would put out brownies. I would take them on the way yeah. out. I would always take them back. It depends, right? Brownies. Anything with dairy in it, they're gonna be like. No, ah, Nick, there was yeah. that table outside the door where the food was on. Yeah. So, so no one knows. Man, no one food around. I'm getting it. So, like, a green... Okay, this is a voice actor trick. People will appreciate this. We all know this. Like, a green apple... Green apple. If you're sounding kind of, like, moist in your mouth, everyone's favorite word, a green <laughs> apple will dry out your mouth and make yeah. you sound, like, crisper and clearer, right? Oh, it does? So there's that. Yeah. And but if yeah, you go... And, if, and before going to an audition on camera, if you eat a green apple, it'll clean your teeth up a little real quick, too. Like, kind of like, you know... Yeah, right now, that's the secret. It's also, it's yeah. also like VO stuff. You're only doing like four hour sessions, so a lot of times it's like sure. I've just eaten. I'm about to go eat. I don't need to like. It's not like the same as being on a set, like a on camera set all day, where you have to be grazing and you have to be eating. I do yeah. remember some voice right. actor though once, like I was eating a sandwich before a session, and some voice actor who you know. I look young, like they thought, and this was a, a long time ago, that I didn't know what I was doing, and I was eating a sandwich, and they said to me, oh, that's going to make your voice sound real good. And I went, I'm playing a five-year-old aunt. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. like, but yes, typically you do not eat. I was doing a friggin' show for Cartoon Network, and I, mean, I love Charlie Adler. I love his I love awesome Charlie guy. Adler. It's so Charlie's directing, and it's like, I'm literally there at like, probably 10, and he's like, Dante, when did you wake up this morning? I'm like, uh... 9.30. He's like, you gotta be, uh, you're working. You should have been up at 8. Do this. I'm like, he's trying to give me like a whole program to do before I came and I was like, Charlie, Charlie, we're we're like, play. Play. Charlie, Charlie you're probably, probably right. right. I was like, what time did you wake up? 6 a.m. I did yoga. Damn, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie I woke up a half an hour ago and I'm here on time. This is everything you're doing wrong. Charlie's like, nah, we ain't playing. I'm like, I'm sorry <laughs> my voice is raspy. This character's gonna be extra raspy this morning. <laughs> From my experience, if there's a record at 10, Jack will show up at 10.05 and then wake up at 10.30. Oh, <laughs> burn. That's yeah. not You're talking. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Even for these Zooms, you're the last one in. No, no. <laughs> it was, we were, we were recording in Vancouver. You're talking about yes. Dragon Fist. We were recording in Vancouver. I was getting flown in like late night the night before. Don't and I would show up and off. I would be there five minutes late because I didn't have a car. I was always like trying to catch cat, like taxi cabs. They yeah. don't have Uber yeah. up there. So I couldn't like, so I was just trying to like catch a taxi cab to get to the studio. And I was bad at yeah. planning it. I screwed up a lot. You got flown would, yeah. to Vancouver to do <laughs> records. Yeah, Dragon oh. Prince. The whole the whole cast is uh, Vancouver based, and they wanted to do group reads, so they would always bring me up to join yeah. the rest of the cast. We yeah. had some some great Vancouver, you know, hangouts. You know, after the record. Did though. you stay at always after place? the record? I was never coming. It's not like I was coming in at ten oh five hungover. It just was a long flight. Not a long flight. It was a short flight, but it was late at night. Yeah. <laughs> Living that life, Jack. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the worst but I'll have you know, John Carlo, I did, even if I seemed tired, I just stayed groggy for a long time. I did always wake up and do, I did do warm-ups in my hotel room. Like, I am, like, I was trying I'm to wake teetering. up my boys, especially you're, playing, you're like, a 14-year-old. You're always great. I'm just I'm great. We love you. I've done those damn. Yeah, I've done my vocal warm-ups on the way to, on the on, waking up trying to do my vocal warm-ups on the way to the damn gig. You're like, toy boat, toy boat, yeah. toy boat. Chris points. Usually Chris it's points. like in the car right over, but then when I'm taking a cab, I had to like wake up early to do it. You Don't know. want to weird out the cab driver. <laughs> the worst thing is when you're in the group read and you're not. You didn't see a line of yours coming up, and you're just fucking around in the booth yeah. with somebody, and the whole read stops because you're not. You know, they're, you're live. <laughs> And everyone's like, looks at you, and the you director's know. like, uh, Dante, it's your line. I'm like, I know. I just <laughs> terrible feeling. was fucking around with this red body. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me if I was a voice actor. Like, I would, I'd be just all over the place. Like, <laughs> that's you, not my calling. 
was the worst. <laughs> the worst was it's the great allow and Kevin Michael Richardson. Those guys are the craziest people in oh the movie. Oh my god! I can't even concentrate. <laughs> Do they talk to you between lines? Like yeah, they talk. Yeah, they like, talk oh, to yeah. each other. They talk and all the they, time. Really inappropriate stuff just to throw you off. I don't know if it's to throw me off or just what they're thinking about in the moment. But you can get the giggles. <laughs> if it's you ever gotten the giggles, Dante? Yeah. yeah, of course. The giggles. You ever gotten the giggles? Yeah. Ooh, I've gotten the giggles. giggles. I've gotten into a therapy session in a booth. In <laughs> oh, yeah. All of a sudden, we're talking about God knows what. I'm like, what is going on right now? We've not watched a minute of this episode. I'm looking <laughs> at it right now. What's no. going on, Bridget? Tell us what's going on on the show. So they found this town that has a fortune teller, and Katar becomes obsessed with the fortune teller and wanting to hear her fortune about everything. Aang's trying real hard to hit on Katara, and he's hoping he can get a fortune from the fortune teller that tells him that him and Katara are going to end up together. But he doesn't initially, so the fortune teller lies to him. And Sokka's trying to prove to this whole town that fortune telling isn't real, and they're like, nah, we That's love right. our fortune teller. And now, and then, there's a volcano about to erupt. <laughs> did, did Fortune Teller predict the volcano, or am I... So part of it is the Fortune Teller comes out and she reads the clouds, and she's like, oh, the town, the village right. will be safe from the volcano this year. And then they go up to the top and they see that the volcano is about to erupt, and they're like, oh no, she's wrong. So currently, they're trying to convince the town that the volcano is about to erupt, so they have to prepare. And Aang's trying to get... Katara and Sokka's helping him, thinking he's trying to get Mang, which is Michaela's character. That also, character we've still is got so some cute. of Sokka's early misogyny creeping out here. Oh, for sure. Oh, that, that, gotta that treat women like real bad. bad. Like, that happens early. Like, we've been seeing that early. The first yeah, yeah, episode, yeah. Sokka's like, you should be washing my socks. And Katara's like, he gets better. <laughs> he does. He grows. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I recall, I think that this character was Mang was was supposed to be just sort of a throwaway, like just not a throwaway character, but she says some cute things and then never see her again. But Michaela made such an impression when she recorded this character that everyone remembered her and they knew that I guess five no, sorry, we're still in season one. Yeah. They knew that Toph was coming in season two and everyone was like, bring her back. So Oh, really? that call was made then? That wasn't like, then you wrote Toph and were like, oh, who? Oh, that girl was pretty good. It was like, it was a direct, like, in the moment? That, I'm not sure. I don't want to, okay. I don't want to. Okay, because, that, but, because but she, was, the way she thought it happened was like, because initially we know that Toph was going to be a dude and then they changed it later on. So in her mind, oh. she thinks that, like, they decided sort of last minute to make the switch and then they didn't want to have to, like, cast, because she's told this on the stream before as well. She's like, I feel like they probably. They decided it was going to be a girl, and they didn't want to have to, like, look for new people, and then they went back to people that they'd already <laughs> worked with, and were like, oh, right. you like this girl, we'll bring her back for top. So I love how uh, she tells the very, like, humble version of that story. <laughs> yeah. But from my perspective, it was like everyone loved her so much that they were like, we got to give her, like, more, a bigger part in the show. <laughs> and I don't think that that was the reason why they made Toph a girl, but it was like, since Toph's now a girl, what about Michaela? You know, like, oh. you know, I think it's something like that. I love that. I wish she was in her. Well, we have stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know how any of the rest of us got cast? <laughs> well, Dante, we know that it's because you had the same name. I know, me and, me and Mike had the same <laughs> name in our name, so that was like, I had a point already walking into the room. Yeah, yes. that's how you got it. <laughs> I'm a part well, of the, you, you know, the, 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 like the fraternity of Dante's that we look out for each other. Like, you see one. Like, the fraternities <laughs> yeah. of Dante. Yeah. Fraternity of Dante. Like, Dante really and really Jack, you were both in the pilot episode, right? Like, yeah. like not even episode one. You were in that pre- The pilot, yeah. pilot. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, I don't know. That, that, you... that was before I worked on the show. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when, when were you brought on? I was brought on, you know, as they were staffing up for the actual series. So I was assistant director on the first episode. Oh wow! Yes, and May was also in the the pilot episode. Zach was yes. not nice. the different. So oh, the different character. The different Mitchell Musso character. was Aang in the first one. Huh? In the original right. pilot, it was Mitchell Musso who was Aang. But memory serves, I think he wasn't even the first. 
He was the second. Aang in the completed pilot, but I think there was another yeah. Aang or two before him. Yeah, they like went through some Aang. Out. But that Special was, was the like Aang that was party. at the... Were you at the opening party, Giancarlo, at Nickelodeon? I think so. Zach was there with his family, right, from the East Coast, I believe he was there. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds yeah, by right. the time the show... Oh, like, when the show got picked up, they re-recorded... Like, Zach was... Zach was the guy. Cast well, then, yeah. In the pilot, Katara wasn't even Katara. She was... She was Kaya, which is her mom's name. Oh, right. I think that was a copyright thing. No idea. No clue. It was a no clue. That I know, it. because I Why saw that use Kaya? pilot before it aired. What was that? A co- that was the name of on some other show, or what? It what was some video Kaya? game. It was called Kaya, and they wouldn't give us the rights, oh, wow. so we had to change it. <laughs> what? Zukaya? It's happened. Zukaya. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, so that's the mom's name now. Katara did a name that. What did Lulexia said? Katara is way better anyway. But where do you know where that um that name came from? You know where any of these names come from, John Carlo? I'm not sure because that's a lot of like writer stuff. That right. by the time that stuff gets to me, it's like here's a script, just draw it. <laughs> right, but you never heard any stories about where these names it's come sometimes from. Sometimes there would be a little bit of like, oh, uh, we got to name this character. What do you think? What do you think of Tylee? <laughs> and I'd be like, sounds good to me. Sounds <laughs> great. She's so cute. I just this character is like. Oh yeah, favorite. Bangs the like how they, yeah, I, adore I like her. how they just gave like relationship advice, like tackling how to deal with like feelings when you have to fortune somebody and then being on both sides of that coin yeah yes how many dogs do you think are named appa now right like that's a thing right oh, Maybe. you know oh. or a fluffy dog. i don't get name. but like being on all of dante socials do you know how many dogs are named zuko yeah. lots of them. really oh really <laughs> shout out to my dog zuko he's yeah, a dog right, sure. i love that they're and here they are now so romantic they're all Airbending together. They're airbending and waterbending. Obviously, Katara cannot airbend. <laughs> There's water in those clouds. Yeah, clouds are made of water, Dante. Ridiculous. <laughs> I do kind of love that, though. Like, oh, they made a skull. They made, they made a death mark in the sky? Because they're trying to convince the town that they're not safe from the Wait volcano. a second. Does this mean Death Eaters are going to show the up? Death Eaters going to show <laughs> up all of a sudden, friggin' Voldemort comes down? <laughs> it's the symbol for volcanic doom. <laughs> Mount Doom. Yeah, like this is. Because I mean that too. <laughs> so Sokka's telling people. This don't is another. This is very stuff. like. No, this is like the Great Divide. We're solving all of our problems by lying to people. Exactly. Once another, once another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Great Divide again. <laughs> and we're back to the great Giancarlo divide. <laughs> oh my god. The Giancarlo divide. I just realized, I think this is another Dave Filoni episode. You got two Filonis in a row. There's a lot of Filoni in season There's one. There's a lot of Filoni. Okay, yeah. so, who's that? It's That's like a Bruce bender Filoni. right there. Is that Toph? No. No. When does Toph show up, by the way? Because I'm on, like, episode two, season two. He's a couple months. seasons. Good job. Three months, months into it. At about a Thank Four you, more. Justin. I'm really working on it. No, no, no. I was saying good job, Momo. He came flying in and oh, dropped whatever. it off. <laughs> I'm not... I haven't so had is this that. episode have a commentary <laughs> on politics or religion? I don't know what's going on. Damn, that thing's just... Oh, look at all uh, those graves. <laughs> are those graves? I mean, yeah. We, is, we are... Oh, hey, darn. You guys, you guys, we were supposed to... We flooded a city in water in Jet's episode. Now we're flooding a city in lava. Like... What? This is no, the volcano. The volcano exploded. They created a trench around the town. They're protecting We're saving the, the town. city. No, this, this is apocalyptic. apocalyptic. This is apocalyptic. No, no, Hank's got to yeah. go. Hank's not that gangster of an airbender. He can't put yes, out he lava. Is. He is the youngest <laughs> airbender to master the element. That does not let you put out lava. Just yes, in Hawaii. He pulled it off. How's that uh, lava looking in Hawaii? That thing I goes say, uh, Using that much air would not actually Can put I ask you an animation question, Giancarlo? Because I think people go. know this. So, like, when things are, like, heavily... I don't know how to I say mean, this, but, like, digitized. <laughs> like, this ash falling right now. Or a lot of times I see it when there's, oh, like, yeah. mechanical things happening. Like, 
what is why does that effect look different than a, the regular animation? What are I they doing differently there? It's hard to draw like that ash that's falling through the sky. Okay. So they're probably using After Effects, which is sort of like a CG particle effect thing that they layer on top. So it does look a little more computery mm -hmm. than the hand drawn stuff, but it saves a ton of time. And sometimes, you know, if you if you do it wisely, it looks cool and no one notices. No, it looks cool. Like, I, I like see the look of it. Fire Nation stuff where like they're lowering like a drawbridge into their tanks or something like mechanical yeah. things. Yeah. John Carlo, That's next time you need to do something, okay. I have an Instagram filter. I can let you use. <laughs> yes, yes. You just yes, swipe over to the right a few times, and then all of a sudden, fire shit. Oh, love it. <laughs> you, you're kind of right about like how this is almost like another great divide. It's just showing like how things can be changed for like to have a better outcome in a way. Yeah. Not like just straight up lying, but like you know, she's a lot of gray thing. area in. Yeah. It, it's in you know doing what there. you need to to. It's like you have a path, but you can always change it. Well, so wait, I, now do we, are yeah. we inviting our guests on Yeah, to invite the guest in, invite the guest in. Bring right. the guest we, in, bring in the guest! Do you want them both at the same time? Yeah, both yeah, at the same time. Alright guys, Like a huge on. party. You're gonna have to... I gotta get your email, so give me two seconds. I'm cooking in the sun. I know, it's getting hot right now. <sighs> okay. It's the lava. Okay. The lava. The lava. The yeah, also, that, that town is so safe now. They got this, like, nice rock. Oh, yeah. It's the whole... They could just... Earth Kingdom could just start a whole other war. Protect I it. I haven't I been watching the first Fire 13 Nation. episodes of this season very carefully, but that's got to be the most powerful thing we've seen Aang do so far, right? That's crazy. Uh, outside of being in the Avatar State? Yeah. Also, that was a big power lava. spike. I mean, like, that is a power spike. I still don't believe scientifically... Any amount of air will stop lava. It cooled it. No air. It cooled it. Cooled it. it. He was pulling it down. He uh, embedded the air. clouds into a the, giant skull. He cooled the outer part so that the lava would flow back downwards. So that way it wouldn't just keep flowing. If you think about it, lava is actually like fire bending earth. earth. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't that come up in Korra? Like, I don't know. I haven't watched a lava thunder. There's a lot of lava thunder. Like but also, lava is like a form of liquid, so it's kind of like water. No, okay, I know. That. Don't do that. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure it's like. And because... molecules aren't that close. Like, you know, ions are separated by yeah. air, right? So and it's got to move. So it's lava all the is in the lava. avatar. Lava is the avatar element. <laughs> yeah, the next avatar's lava. name is lava. Stop it. No, it's not. What? <laughs> Richard hates us right now. I do, just a little, but it's fine. It, do, it, it does encompass a lot of elements. I'm not sure about the air thing, but if someone was bold enough to pick up that lava and well, throw it across I'm the sky, sure that is definitely air bending. Ank could something cool, though. And Ank fire cool. all at the same time, and it's liquid, too. Ank could have said something cool before he went in to, like, you know, bend the fire because it's so dangerous. He could have been, like, went into Qatar and been like, I lava you, and then jumped. Oh, God. <laughs> that wasn't the right time. <laughs> I'm still like convinced that no right, amount of air can stop lava. Jack's gone. Jack, why did you leave us? Jack, please. <laughs> I'm assuming his computer died. Jack was like, I'm done. Jack would never leave without saying goodbye unless Jack. his computer died. Is, a, is Olivia Jack, muted too? Olivia Olivia's muted. Olivia, that. you muted yourself. We're, we're losing people. Mom, I muted you. myself. I know. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, where are our friends? Where are our new friends? I just sent them the email with the invites. Hopefully, they get them. Okay. Yes, so they're coming in. But I want to thank everybody for watching the stream. And thank, thank you so you. much for getting us to $10,000 on uh on Did we hit 10000 We did. Year. We hit 10 We're oh, like yeah. 10 to 50 years. Thank you so much. We're waiting for these last two guests. Then, oh, here we go. Hey, Robert. Hey, 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 hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. I just remembered it's COVID, and I haven't shaved or like got hair done in like four months. So I'm like, you're a beautiful man. I'm pulling off the top things from Castaway you look. Fantastic, Robert. Castaway. Where are you from, Robert? Uh, New York. What part? Hey, New dude. York. What part of New Queens? York? Oh, Queens. Very cool, man. Welcome to the stream. 
We also have another guy, uh, person coming through. He's in on uh, Mark. Mark. Mark, Hello. how you doing? And then Jack Mark. is back. And Jack is back. Hello. Everybody He's the here. mustache gang. Yeah. Yeah. The mustache gang is here. Yeah, look at that. All, y'all all of you guys have been in COVID <laughs> quite some time and are looking very piratish right now. Yeah. Very yeah. piratish. Mark, uh, where oh, are you coming Dante, from? You gotta, you gotta adjust the uh, shape of the window so it shows everyone. It's not I think it shows everybody. Just, I oh, just, oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, never mind. Yeah, yeah. It was okay. delayed. Okay. Ignore him. Uh, <laughs> Mark, where are you okay. from? All right, I'm now listening. I can hear you guys. Uh, I'm from Jacksonville, uh, North Florida. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, hey, hey, Florida. I know where Jacksonville is. She's from Brownville. <laughs> What's up? Bridge is from Brownville. Brooksville, okay. Monte. Stop talking Brownville. Brooksville. Brooksville. Ah. She's from Brooksville. 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 And thank you guys so much for joining the stream. You guys are a long time. You guys watched uh, Avatar from years ago or just picked it up now? I was I was target demographic. I watched it. I was like the perfect age for the characters, and I loved it ever since then. Mm-hmm. Very cool. You yeah, when it came out, I was ten, and I watched it when it came out. Yeah, I was ten when it came out. I watched it, and then when Korra came back, I like re got into it, and now that's on yeah. Netflix, and everyone's getting into it. I'm like re into it the third time. You're back. <laughs> what nations do you guys uh, associate yourselves with? Go ahead, Rob. Uh, I usually Fire Nation, but I don't want to like like usually Fire Nation. Fire Nation. That's right. That's well, right. How much Fire Nation in this? Hundred, hundred percent Water Tribe, hundred percent Blood Bending. Oh. <laughs> like <laughs> no one wins. Flash the tattoo. Flash the tattoo, Bridget. Yeah, she's a. She's I'm an airbender. She's an airbender. Oh, she's never mind. Never mind. Okay. But Get still flash it though. You know, Jack, Jack, Jack's a resident. There. Jack's a resident yeah. Water Tribe. Look. Yeah, if you can blood bend blood, that I mean that's powerful. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it's not. It's pretty good. Pretty, no. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> but pretty it's good. also <laughs> thing you're not supposed to be doing. That's like that's like a dark. Yeah, it's just, I mean like only a couple of people yeah. can do. It. It's not like ubiquitous, but like top end power, pretty good. So so it's a kid show, and they can't get really graphic. But I feel a bloodbender could like stop hearts or mess with someone's brain, like the water in there, Pull like, the just, whoa, 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 man, it's, why can't it, it be, like, save lives, you know? You know? Yes, they <laughs> also can heal, they're very good at healing. Yeah, what can always... Korra, they literally, they literally, is deadly, man. Korra, they, her airbender literally took the air out of someone's lungs, that was... That's that hurt? Great. Yeah, that's, that's me. That was really crazy. I mean, I'm a firebender, I, yeah, I just cook you, I just cook you. Man, that's how but, I got Katara, because he took her breath away. on the pole, Zuko, Zuko and Aang. No, Dick Howard Lopez is the no. leader of that shipping. That's, uh, oh, really? Uh, okay. What's that called? Zuko? Zukang? Zuk- Zuk- <laughs> I don't know. That's Giancarlo, not a popular ship. I don't know in, that one. Giancarlo is the leader head of that ship. Are you the captain of that ship? Giancarlo? You go for Zuko. Oh, do tell. Wait, what? Documentary? <laughs> <laughs> so... Real quick, I want to say thank you so much, Justin and uh, Briget, for being just so awesome coming out and Aww. being so knowledgeable about the show for sure. Uh, Jack, I want to say uh, thank you so much for your YouTube channel. Chris and Jack is hilarious. Hey, thanks. Dude, it's it's Chris honestly, thanks. I've been watching the entire backlog. I'm, I'm so hyped for it. And Great. I can't wait for new content. Uh, and, we got uh, a new thing coming out Monday. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Also, uh, huge congratulations from this stranger that you're a dad and uh, experiencing that awesomeness. And Appreciate that very much. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> yeah. And improving your body with the exercise video I just randomly watched that thank I can you. be recommended. <laughs> thank you, Mark. Yeah, dude. Uh, John Carl, thank you so much for all the amazing um, episodes you've made. Like looking at uh, the entire list, like uh, the library, on. the Guru Awakening, like Firebending Masters. Dude, thank awesome you. stuff. I really love it. The Great Divide. Thank you so much. Yes, the great divide <laughs> is the best. <laughs> that's the only one that matters. <laughs> the great divide gets way too much hate. It's not it wasn't bad. Bad. It was good. I, it's I don't. Bad. Yeah. No I hate. No hate at all over here at all. <laughs> I, I, I really think what happened was it was overplayed a million times by Nick. So everyone's like, not that episode yeah. again. And that's actually awesome. So much Our work is great. The last week when we, but that makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. The, art, the artwork is amazing. I mean, I love the, the whole has, style that, of it. It's great. That episode yeah, when it came to Lover's artwork is so unique. Yeah. Like the, okay. the background stories, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's just the 
lie. I think you should change the end where he did lie. He was <laughs> actually <laughs> there. Or his okay. homie was there. Yeah, and then Lava oh. shows up and, like, saves Lava the shows day. Up. If you can tell, if it's unprovable, <laughs> we don't know if it was a lie. I think I that know. in the spirit of the Great Divide, I'm going to lie and tell everyone <laughs> that everyone loves that episode. Because <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, everyone believes that it's the best one. Not only is like, it a bad episode, it's a good episode. Like you said, <laughs> I look at different like, art when they do the flashbacks and all great. that. Yeah. And yeah. the two different yeah. parts yeah. each side was great. It's just the end. You know, that's it. Everyone doesn't like when we watched The Great Divide and we addressed how um, Aang just lied and no one addressed it afterwards. Just like, oh, he just lies. Just whatever. They were like, oh, not anymore. Yeah. We just, you know, there's a lot. It was a good lie. It helped us bring two guys together. It served a purpose. It did good in the end. Yeah. I have a question. If I had to pick one thing to say that I have to pass, could a waterbender help, like, just draw it out? Like, is that is that something? Yeah, you but could... wouldn't you rather an earthbender just break up the calcium? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. better. <laughs> that's way better, right? Well, you know, waterbenders are already healers, so I feel like the, for the waterbender, it would just be easy. They could just get, they could just heal it. They just gallbladder gone. I'm trying to Gold think of some, some healing. Some more <laughs> yeah, healing. You know what I mean. Go back. I don't know if waterbending is perfect. Like it can heal <laughs> all wounds, like Deadpool or something. <laughs> like Deadpool. But if you're a waterbender, can you like just drink one cup of water and then be fine on it for the rest of your life? If you can like kind of like. I don't think that's how that works. Oh, I don't know. Katara has a little, Katara has a little, a little water case. She's yeah, but then, over and sorry over. To be that's graphic, not how the just, body works. Hey, they do it in space, man. They do it in space. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like <laughs> waterbenders on space. unable to walk, okay? I just love how yeah, waterbenders yeah. could take water from the air exactly. and just fight with that and then make it ice right. and make it like in, in, instant kanai or kind yes. of ninja so stars anywhere. A waterbender in like a dry place, like Arizona, for forever. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 air, no water anywhere. That's their prison. But then they start sweating, and then they have water again. Warm water. But like, they can't remember, get any uh, water. Remember, Mag remember Magneto? You meant Magneto had the, had the one iron? person there drinking all the stuff and iron. They come to the ring and he know, takes injected. all the iron out of yeah, his body. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he's kind of like a he's gnarly. Magneto's kind of like an earthbender. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he is an earthbender. The metal bender. The metal bender. So yeah. Magneto took the iron out of someone's blood. So would blood bending apply? To a degree, if you have enough iron, not. But to an anemic person, he can't do nothing. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> like, I'm anemic, Magneto. You can't do nothing to me. So the circle goes: blood bending, metal bending, anemic. And yeah. Then. So <laughs> it's blood bending. Blood can blood bend, right? Like almost nobody can blood bend, right? Or no? Yeah, it's really rare. Okay. Yeah, like it. You gotta it, train. It's like rare. So, yeah. like, in, uh, like, like how Toph discovered metal bending, like, this one waterbender discovered blood bending, and okay. then it became, like, a thing. And then specifically when they, like, say blood bending, they, when they announce it in the show, it's she can only do it during the full moon, which for waterbenders means they're at their strongest. But, but then Legend of Korra... That she can do it not during the full moon, so obviously it becomes more of a thing. Uh, I feel like it's like a thing, like it's yeah. it's, it's sort of like metal bending. It's it it just better at water. It. Blood is just liquid. They can bend it. Like well, you can go it, and stab your next door neighbor, but no one does it because it's not cool to do. <laughs> in, uh, in Legend of Korra, <laughs> Amon was trained since he was a child, and he was able to blood bend by just like twisting his neck. And he, he didn't even have to do any signs. He didn't have to do any movement, and he was able to just completely control other people's bodies, like almost Whoa. telepathically. Well, right. Well, that's like a whole thing in Korra is like suddenly everybody has gotten much better at yeah, lightning bending is commonplace. Like, like, like anyone like can do it. Electricity. On it hard. Yeah. yeah. Lightning bending. I feel like yeah, there like should be like a microwave bender, like the next level of that's a fire bending. Like, <laughs> you like, could like be a microwave. A microwave. <laughs> I could just bend heat from inside you and and. and so, I don't know how my friends well, work. Really Zuko, well. the modern Zuko, Zuko, can you heat up my burrito, man? No, I need exactly. it. Dante, you should create a microwave Zuko's company and microwave call it Zuko. Zuko, Zuko Microwave oh. Company. Investors out there, and let's go. Zuko. Zuko. Gotcha. I like it. Oh. 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 And we just fire ban stuff. So, does any of the voice actors here know anything about uh, the live action coming up? Or is that... 
We don't just know. Hush, hush. That's a whole no. other department. That's a whole other department of Avatar. Because <laughs> I, because I, because I, I know Mike and Brian are making it, and I'm just so they're yeah, obviously yeah. really they love the series. Yeah, but we all I love mean, the series. We'll we'll see. We we all have a lot of faith in what's going on. So we'll see. I heard but, I heard all the cast from the old movie is coming back. No, don't say stuff like that. Oh. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Not even funny. <laughs> not even M. Night, M. Night Shyamalan just did such a poor job representing the series. Oh, yeah. Dante and I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Wait, there's a movie? There's a movie, man. There is a movie. It's not part of it. It's fine. I'm going to get really stoned and watch it eventually. Once I'm done We're going to do it on stream. We're going to watch it together. We're going to do it on stream because I haven't seen it. Jack's like, I'm not going to be there for that stream. We'll see. We'll see. That's, that's a dream I think they're just gonna get all the kids from Twilight and just do the Avatar show meets Twilight mashup and just. Yeah. Someone just cut together those two movies. That'd be amazing. We'll just have Law do that. I want I want the live action show to be everything the movie wasn't. I think we all want. I think we all want something heavy tap and something cool. And hope and hope it does. But also, I always remind people that don't like the movie. I'm like, this is the deal, though. It's actually hard to make a good movie. Like, think about yeah. actually how many good yeah, movies it, you saw hard. last year. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's... No, 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 but listen. listen. <laughs> but I'm just so saying. Let her get talk. He's going to say some facts. He's going to say some facts. I'm not justifying I'm not defending the money. I'm not defending anybody. Can you forget $250 million? I understand that, but there's so many bad $250 million movies. It's just... People work just as hard on that that's yeah, as yeah, yeah, hard yeah, to yeah. make yeah. a movie just that as hard bad as that movie. Like you, Thank you, Robert. But it, it's hard to make it that bad. Like, yeah, like you point out that everybody's name's wrong. Is a, Can I? Zuko. going out of your uh, way. Sokka didn't tell uh, one joke the entire season. Can I specifically hate one, one, one moment? Yeah. Yeah. So the moment where uh, you meet Monk Gyatso or his corpse, and uh, it was in the middle of a battlefield in the movie, whereas in the show, it was in the middle of his own home protecting his loved ones. Right. So yeah. it showed that M. Night Shyamalan oh. didn't care for the character or like the, the peaceful aspect of the nomads. Just nah, and this bitch tried to tell us all that he watched the show and then he pronounced everybody's name. I'm not calling call no one a bitch, M. Night. M. Night, if you watch no. this, I'm not calling call nobody a bitch. No. Why did he do yeah. that? Like, also, why did they pronounce also, everyone's name? We all know. We all know with so, filmmaking that there's like so many different departments. All these executives want to make decisions. You know, for yeah, example, we got Wild Wild West. You had that one producer who wanted a giant spider thing. I like Wild Wild West. <laughs> they created steampunk. <laughs> so they made it. To, to just blame it all on one director, that would be yeah, like. I'll say. Yeah, but I'll say. I feel Dante like, mentioned this last week, but I like. I was like kind of far along in the process with that and I like met with M. Night Shyamalan about that movie and stuff and I can say like oh wow he was genuinely a, a fan of that movie and watched it or the show and watched it with his kids oh, and like wow. really the the so whatever happened I don't know how the sh- yeah. how the film did you got, see the like, extras interview where he uh All talked right. with the creators about like his experience with his daughter and how she inspired him to work on the project yeah I, I haven't seen that but like genuinely like in person he, like the enthusiasm the respect for the the so what happened? Entire, it was great. You know, I think he was... I have another uh, Hugo and Katara meet for the first time at the end in the fight. At, at, at the fight at the end in the, in the Northern War time. It's the first time they meet in the entire movie. Yeah, it's I just don't know. insane. But that's, that's the other thing. You don't know what happened. Like, you know, you're trying to do a movie, remember. and then all of a sudden the, the studio could be like, we want to do the whole season in two hours. And then... Well, sure. the at crap everybody who made the wrong decisions on that movie, y'all suck. I will so say Olivia. We're gonna say all the names wrong. We're gonna it say is, where's the kid? It does have the funniest moment of all time. It has the funniest moment of all time. That earthbending scene. I think I could actually watch that. Oh my time. god! Just that oh, one I'm moment. On the the boy band yeah. when they like. Ten minutes to move this little devil across the screen. I can't wait to watch this movie. Yeah. The, the breakdown of firebending, like the, he tried to make it more balanced, where firebenders oh, yeah, had to have an existing source. Where right, the yeah. point of the show is that I mean, it no is sense. unbalanced, that the firebenders could just produce fire at any moment. At any we're OP. We're right, yeah. Yeah, like are OP. Yeah, like they're supposed to. And, and, and they have that whole moment like where Iroh does it. Where Iroh yeah. produces the yeah. fire by himself, and it's like so dramatic. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. Guys, <laughs> guys. Also, Olivia, the reason why they had the names wrong is because uh, M. Night Shyamalan wanted to be more true to the original pronunciation, the uh, okay. proper pronunciation. But, don't. But, but everyone has known and loved the characters with the 
pronunciation that we... But the correct pronunciation, the but they didn't hire any Asian people. So yeah, right. Oh, yeah, they, they didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's confusing. Yeah. It's confusing. And the only Asian people okay. were the bad guys. People were in there, yeah. right? Yeah. People right. were trying to... Right. I don't... Who knows? I can't speak because right. I haven't watched the movie. It's just so, I don't know. so much. <laughs> too much. It was... Guys, that movie guys. was literally the first movie in my life I wanted to walk out on and get my money back. Yeah. I went to that movie with so much hope. I yeah. went out of camp. I bought tickets. Opening I, weekend... The title screen came on, I was like, oh, this is cool, the water swishes, and then I just saw the first scene, and, like, my face turned to frowns, and then I was yeah. dead inside. For, like, yeah, yeah, once it got, like, past the whole, like, intro intro, like, they did the whole, like, it was going nice yeah. until they, like, like started like talking. <laughs> and you're like, oh, no. Well, yeah. I was like, well, after we finish this, this series, we might watch this in between before you watch Korra. And it'll yeah. be exciting for all of us to watch. And yeah. we might yeah. get and well, hey, I do have a question, though. Yeah, what, go ahead. What is something that you look most forward to? Like what, like a scene or something that you would re you really hope to see in the new live action? <laughs> like the, uh, not being like, I just have, it just has to be better than the movie. Like, what is something that you look most forward to? The casting, right? Probably. Yeah, the... the, the M. Night Shyamalan cast characters or child actors that were very new but looked like the characters, but they weren't good at portraying the characters. Yeah. Uh, so you want, I, so you I, want I, cast? That's what you look forward to in the new one is? Better casting, but I mean, just generally, like, a love for the source material. Like, the the fact that they made the original means that I think they're going to do the right thing making the live action. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited to see where the CG is at for, like, stuff like waterbending, I think. Yeah, that's what, that's what my main concern is, is what that's all going to look like. Could look very cool though. Yeah, it could look great, but also, also char I think character building is huge in Avatar. Yeah. Like yeah. you like, can't just like throw a scene out and say like it looks like the scene from the series, but like there's no heart behind it. Like yeah. the, the that that scene in the prison, like it's like mimics what was in the show, but like there's no heart behind it. They're on the floor, but they're not in like a boat, so that's also ridiculous. But like it's I mean, just like shows you what was from the from the from the TV from the show, but like. There's no heart behind it, so it's like right. a snap. Show they did an amazing job of putting them on a barge in the middle of the ocean with no earth to bend, breaking their resolve, destroying their spirit as proud earthbenders. Yeah. And then they were capable, of, or Katara was giving that spirit back with the coal, and they were able to fight back with the source. The, uh, oh, the I gotta watch this movie. Uh, <laughs> but you didn't say that. that. that was from the episode was George Takei. Do you remember that? Yeah. I do remember George. Uh, Olivia, I gotta go. go. I gotta go.